First we find Isabel. Heard a bloke saying he saw ghosts on the far side of the I wall. saw it with my own eyes. The whole of Oriflag. My lord. My lady. We received the dame's message. There have been sightings of strange creatures, I understand. With the blue eyes. Yes. Like a kashik, but... different. They've taken so many. I've lost count. Akashic, but different. <sighs> Ultimus thralls. And what of your mistress? Is she here? Oh, no. She went to the garrison to ask what they were planning on doing about all this. Then we'll look for her there. Madame, please! Half the garrison's been slaughtered by those things. We lost the captain this very morning. We've tried requesting reinforcements, but there's been no word from the capital or the Dominion in days! What more would you have us do? I would have you do your duty. Those at the Vale look to me for protection. And protect them I shall, because they are my charges and that is my duty. In case you have forgotten, the people of this town are your charges. But more than that, they are your people. Your sisters, your brothers, your lovers. So you have a choice. Lay down your sword and watch as they are slaughtered. Or take it up and do what is right. She speaks the truth, you know. This here, it's all we have. It's all that's left. What we have left is our lives. Do you really want us to lose them as well? Not if we don't have to. Look, there's a cask under the captain's bunk. Let's talk about this over a drink, eh? I'm listening. I'll have a word with him. Ah, oh, Clive. I didn't expect help to arrive so quickly. And sought to take matters into my own hands. It was a noble effort, but I thought you might still need some support. I'd like you to consider my needs. Um, <clears throat> What we need to consider is where the creatures came from. The way the survivors speak of them, one would think they appeared out of thin air. <laughs> and perhaps they did. It's hard to know what to believe these days. Hmm. We'll talk to the survivors. You're a pikeman, yes? What happened? I've got family in Moor. I heard the flood was spreading, so... I went to see if they were all right. And a pack of them glowing... things found me in the meadow. I ran for my life. I... I never did get to the village. Leave that to us. My family! They're still in the capital. Did you see the creatures that attacked you? Creatures? Uh, yeah, I... They came out of nowhere. They went for Joseph first, then me, and then... Then they were just gone. Do you remember where you were? On the road from Oriflam. We just passed more when... When... Where's my Joseph? It's all right. Just rest now. At least we have an idea of where the thralls might be now. We should head for more. Clive, look! I see them. With me! Save your strength. You're finished.
Do you think there are more? There are always more. But I'd say we've done what we can for the time being. Then we should let Isabel know. You have the town's thanks. Don't thank us yet. There will be more. Many more. And you'll need to be ready for them. Oh, we shall. Isn't that right, Captain? Yes, my lady. The garrison will be ready. Philippe here has convinced most of the men to remain at their posts. For now, at least. <laughs> Hearing that the dame would look kindly on any man who committed himself to the task certainly didn't hurt. Ah, it's not the most selfless of motives, I'll admit, but whatever it takes, eh? Now me, I never needed convincing. I became a soldier to protect the people I love. And the people I love include the ones standing before me. <laughs> Handsome and chivalrous. Now, if you don't mind, I have sentries to post. Milady. Lest you wonder, I'm not foolish enough to believe that this has solved all of my problems. But it has solved one, and that's one fewer than I had this morning. Thank you again, Clive. Philippe will make a good captain. He reminds me a little of you, Clive, but without all the mocks and mows. <laughs> <laughs>